protocols for airborne sampling and analysis of carbon nanotubes, or CNT, and carbon nanofibers, or CNF, are provided by NIOSH. This video will summarize the protocol for collecting two filter samples, each for different data parameters. Two samples can be collected for a thorough exposure characterization. First, we will demonstrate collection of a sample for transmission electron microscopy, or TEM. A TEM sample provides structure type, fiber or agglomerate, structures counted, airborne concentration, calculated mass of CNT, representative photomicrographs. Note that there are no defined exposure limits for these parameters. Then we will demonstrate collection of a sample for elemental carbon analysis using a thermal optical analyzer and a modification of method NIOSH 5040. An elemental carbon, EC, report provides mass of EC, airborne concentration of EC. The data can be compared to the NIOSH recommended exposure limit, or REL, for carbon nanotubes or nanofibers. If you plan to collect a TEM sample, you will need MCE filter with an anti-static cowl, the filter pore size is 0.45 micron, sampling pump, flexible tubing, calibrator, flow adjusting screwdriver, laboratory request form or chain of custody, optional, Ziploc bags and transparent tape. Calibrate your pump in an area free of contaminants using a flow rate appropriate to your project, generally between two and five liters per minute. The key is to collect samples open-faced for uniform sample deposition on the filter. Label one cassette as calibration and follow routine calibration procedures. Connect the cassette, calibrator, and pump together. And then adjust the flow rate. After calibrating, turn off the pump, remove the calibration filter, and set it aside. Take a new cassette and remove the lid for open-faced sampling. Ensure that the filter is pointing down, just as you would for an asbestos sample. Once sampling is complete, put the inlet cap on the cassette for an airtight seal. To finish, label the cassette with the sample ID. You can also add the sample's date, time, and location. If you are concerned about the cassette opening during transport, apply strips of tape to the ends of the cassette. Place the cassette into a sealable plastic bag or bubble wrap envelope and store the samples at ambient temperature until ready to ship. To collect samples for elemental carbon, you will need pre-cleaned quartz filter in a 25 millimeter cassette, sampling pump, flexible tubing, calibrator, flow adjusting screwdriver, flat screwdriver or coin, laboratory request form or chain of custody, optional, a cyclone to fit a 25 millimeter cassette, optional, Ziploc bags. First, calibrate your pump for the flow rate appropriate to your project, generally between two and four liters per minute. A cyclone can be used for sampling and in that case, use the flow rate and procedure specified for the cyclone. We will show sampling without a cyclone. Again, the key is to collect samples open-faced Label the cassette as calibration and follow routine calibration procedures. Connect the cassette, calibrator, and pump together, and then adjust the flow rate. After calibrating, turn off the pump, remove the calibration filter, and set it aside. Take a new cassette and remove the top by prying off the top inlet third, or the cassette, so that you can collect the sample open-faced. Adjust the tubing to position the cassette at the person's collar, near their breathing zone. Once sampling is complete, reassemble the cassette and put the plugs in. Store the samples at ambient temperature until ready to ship. To finish, complete the laboratory request form, also called the chain of custody. Here are some additional notes. You can collect up to three extra air samples for later analysis. Chain of custody must indicate nanomaterials to ensure use of the correct analysis protocols. 
submit a nanomaterial bulk for reference. If there are multiple bulks, correlate air samples to appropriate bulk. Background samples are recommended from inside the facility, an area where nanomaterials are not used, ideally a location served by a separate HVAC system.